guys welcome back to my channel this is modesty 33 here aka crystal with the c back at you with another video if you are new to my channel make sure you hit the red subscribe button so you're notified when i upload future videos this video right here is gonna be a reaction video for the gifted season one episode six i believe it's called got your six again capital x along with the theme. So um, I just finished watching episode five, which was really good. Um, you got more of um, a background on the character Jace. I don't know what his actual title is, if it's detective or lieutenant sergeant. I don't, I don't know what his actual title is. I wasn't paying attention. But you got more of a background on him and kind of his motivation for what he does, which is like locking up these mutants and... Um, even I feel like he's had some hand in um, the reprogramming of mutants and kind of using them for to fight for Sentinel services. So um, you get more of a background of him. And basically he does this because of this incident that they've referred to early um, earlier on in the season, the July 15th. And that's where there was some type of protest between um, mutants and humans. And it was supposed to be a peaceful protest, but it ended up um, causing an explosion that killed a lot of people, both mutants and human. And it happened in Dallas, Texas. And it was like four years from the current time frame. Um, yeah, the current um, present time that we're in in this series. So um, in that explosion... Um, Jace lost his daughter who was seven years old at the time. So you see that, you know, basically again, his motivation is, um, he believes he's doing a good thing to keep people safe from mutants. Um, the ones that he considers and classifies as dangerous. So, um, you saw where he and his team were pursuing, um, Polaris and Marco. And I was just thinking about that last episode. I don't know if anyone else has said this in the reaction, but like every time I, I, I say the word Marco, I think Polo, but it's like, Lorna, her name is Polaris. That's so funny to me. So it's like Marco Polo. But um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone thought about that when they came up with the character names and titles, but um, I suppose, I know they said that Lorna slash Polaris is in the comics, but Eclipse, from what I've heard, um, slash Marco is um, an original character for this series, The Gifted, so he's not anywhere in the comics. So I, I don't know. I was, I'm just kind of wondering about that, but just find it a little funny. But anyway, so um, again, um, Polaris and Marco ended up catching Jace and they were interrogating him, trying to find out how um, they've been turning mutants because they found out that, uh, again, Johnny's friend Pulse is working for Sentinel Services. So Polaris and Marco were trying to get information from Jace to find out, well, how are you guys turning mutants? They didn't really get anywhere until they got um, Dreamer in the mix. Dreamer was able to get little bits and pieces, but then Sentinel Services came along um, and, you know, threw in the tear gas, was trying to get them to come out. And so they had to end up leaving early. What that ended up doing, though, was... Um, scrambling Jace's mind. So unfortunately the end of the episode you saw where he was under the impression that his daughter was still alive and his wife had to tell him, um, no, she died four years ago. It was very, very sad. Cause you just imagine somebody who has already gone through a grieving process, but then, you know, they're told the information again, almost like it's the first time. So you don't, I mean, so you could just imagine what that did to his wife to have to tell him that because that's the reality she's lived in for years. But because his head is scrambled, he's thinking his daughter is still alive and then having to deal with his grief, you know, all over again. So it almost reminds me of someone who has dementia. Um, you know, I, I work with um, veterans and all, um, and a lot of them, some of them do have dementia. It's, it's just very sad to see almost like you're telling them, you know, the information over again when you tell them their spouse has died or, you know, someone close to them has died or things are not as they remember them. So um, very, very sad to see. So um, that happened. You saw Reed was trying to help um, deter the officers from the mutant underground. So he did that. You saw Caitlin and the kids were helping to stabilize the guy, Harry, who got shot in episode five. So you saw that they were successful in that. And that was pretty much the episode. It was a bit slower than episode, um, 
for exit strategy but um we'll see what this one has in store so that was my recap again guys so without further ado i will see you on the other side and we're gonna get to reacting to episode six all right see you guys no it's not just watching my dad and brother get ready to leave it's weird three weeks ago our craziest family outing was six flags What's the capital X? I'm oh, sure that'll be fine. I'm not sure about anything anymore. Quiet. Hog. License and registration? Yeah, sure. Look at this guy. Oh, shoot. Some relocation boxes for something else you see. Well, who okay. ain't seen? I'm really running late to Denver. That's 
sucked. Pretending like everything was great. Counting down the days of graduation so I can move to Florence or something. I guess that's never gonna happen. Welcome to Florence. Wow. Even the water's moving. Yeah. No one done that before. I think you're making me better. One thing, though. Isn't this room? I think that's the Vatican. I just saw it on a commercial. That was a sweet sentiment, though. She ain't putting no dust in your mouth now, is she? Can't be weird. Because we're in a war. That just means all we have is here and now. I mean, there's a lot of people around her. We've had a cop trailing us the last couple of miles. No, Stop the vehicle immediately. No, no. Fire. This is Sentinel Service. No. Sit here and do nothing. We need to stay calm. Stop. This shit didn't even kill us. I've got a plan. I need help. Keep it together, kid. Eddie, listen to me. We know you can help. You've already proven that. Your power is not the answer to everything. Right now. Yeah. The answer is first to ask. Good work, Dad. Calm down. Mess it up. Okay. I repeat, stop the vehicle immediately or we will open fire. This is Sentinel Services. Wait for it. Don't stop, man. Wait for oh my it. gosh! Oh my gosh! Open fire! Hold it, hold it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Remember, Myanmar? I helped you rescue your magnet girl. Time for you to pay me back. 
And if you don't, my next call is to Sentinel Services. Oh, gosh. That was a really good episode. Like, more upbeat than last episode. Like, last episode was good. But I felt like this episode, um, what is this, Got Your Six, was on the level of episode four, Exit Strategy. So, like, a lot of stuff went down in this episode. You had um, another, like, uh, flashback in the beginning with Johnny. And you see how Johnny was trying to help, um, you know, raise money to help out with the 715 event. And how, you know, again, still you had people um, trying to um, mess with the mutants and all that. So, you just really kind of see Johnny, some of Johnny, his drive from being in the military and trying to help veterans and then, you know, trying to help people from the 715 event. And then, you know, just always kind of coming up with, uh, coming upon opposition. But, um, you know, you just saw in this episode where they were trying to get the information about what they're doing, how they're turning the mutants against one another. And so, um, Reed and, like, Reed always be agreeing to go places. Like, Reed, you had Reed, you had Reed, Marco, and, um, Andy said that they were going to go, um, you know, go in and break in and try to get the information. They tried to get Clarice, but Clarice has left because of what Dreamer slash Sonya and um, what Johnny hid from her as far as putting that memory in her head. So she went and confronted Sonya and she confronted Johnny and then she decided from there that she was going to go ahead and leave. But then you have the sense that maybe Johnny has, he does have real feeling toward, um, for Clarice, so that's kind of weird. So I guess maybe, you know, maybe, um, because I believe she'll come back. So maybe they'll explore that once she comes back. Because I think that that's part of the reason of what's holding him back from Sonya as well. Um, them having a relationship. But, um, you had that. You have Polaris trying to train these kids on how to fight these battles. And, um, Caitlyn is not really having it as far as Lauren is concerned. And Lauren is developing a friendship with the other guy. Um, what is his name? Walter? Wally? I don't, I don't remember what his name was. But he, he creates, like, illusions. Um, or like a mirage or something. I don't know what you call it. But, um, like, he's really cool. So him and Lauren are developing, like, a friendship. So, um, <clears throat> then you had, what else? Like, so you had all that going on where... Caitlin is trying to give some type of normalcy to her family, even in the midst of the underground. And you really do feel for her. Um, but then Polaris is trying to deal in reality and say, okay, well, we need to train these kids how to fight and defend themselves because this is the reality of the world that we're living in right now. And so she, you know, because um, I found out, which I kind of figured anyway, knowing some of our other mutants and all that, but... Um, like, um, Polaris is, you know, the daughter of Magneto. From what I'm told, anyway, I don't follow comics, but i just been watching other people reaction video, and they're like, oh, yeah, she's the daughter of Magneto. And it makes sense with her magnetic ability. It seems, you know, that, that wasn't a stretch for me. But it seems like she does take after, you know, her father, Eric Lyncher, you know, because he definitely was of the mindset of, like, us versus them. And it seems like Polaris is starting to adopt that mindset. So, you know, she really is wanting to train all these kids who are in the underground for battle, like for war. Um, and Caitlin is like, well, you know, can we, you know, not um, teach them and educate them so they can have some sense of normalcy after the war? And Polaris can't really see anything after the war at this period of time. She's dealing in the now, and Caitlin is trying to, like, look at the, okay, well, later on, you know, I still want my kids to have a future and be able to live a normal life after this is all one and done. Um, then you saw where Jace Turner went back to work and he ended up calling the doctor. The doctor got some pull, which I didn't even know the doctor had pull like that because the doctor was able to get Jace reinstated to his job and put him back in charge of the whole operation as long as he has access to the files for, um, the Strucker children. So, um, you know, you got the sense anyway that he was probably going to be the one pulling the strings behind stuff, but I didn't know he actually had authority over, like, Jason's department at Sentinel Services, so he's actually pulling some big strings here. So, um, yeah, like, a lot, all that happened, you saw um, Reed and Andy got the opportunity to talk a little bit. 
um, and kind of reconnect. And so it was just kind of an episode. It was really good to see, like, Reed and his wife, you know, Caitlin kind of reconnect and then Reed, you know, try to reconnect with his son, Andy, because he really has not been around his son since the whole incident happened, which, you know, puts them in this predicament in the first place. So it was a really good episode. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing, like, what happens next. So, again, guys, I thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, like I said at the beginning of this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so you're notified when I upload future reactions. So, I will be putting, um, by the time you see this, episode 5 should be on my channel. Um, and so, I'll be uploading episode 7 um, to the gifted pretty soon afterward, after this one's uploaded. I will try to anyway. And so, um... Make sure you are subscribed, though, and you hit the bell button so you know when I actually upload the reaction, it will notify you. YouTube will, you know, send you a notification. And then make sure you also give this video a thumbs up if you like this reaction. If, you, if you're liking the gift, then make sure you comment below. Um, you know, let me know what you thought of this episode. Do, you know, how do you think it compares to the other episodes? I really thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um... And also, make sure you share my video with other people who are watching The Gifted, who are still, you know, trying to catch up like me, um, or who, you know, who already watched all the episodes and they're just still interested in reactions. So, make sure you share my video with, you know, anyone you know. Also, um, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. And um, be on the lookout for my upcoming reactions. I will be reacting to... Episode 7 and 8 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, 8 has not actually come out yet. Um, yeah, it hasn't actually come out yet. But it should be coming out in the next few days, I believe. So, yes, I will be reacting to both of those um, and putting those on my channel soon. So, again, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Miles33, a.k.a. Chris with the C, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.